How is up, everyone? Today, i like to show you all something truly deplorable. Today, I'm going to try to summon for plus 10 Ascended Vyorn. I'm also going to do a brief analysis and something that I was going to do the other day, but I didn't have enough time. So why don't we go and talk about Ascended Fjorm and how good she is and why I'm going to need to plus 10 her as hard as I can. Like, like Harden. Because, you see, this is the character that I have been looking for for a long time. Ascended Fjorm has... It, 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 like, everything else could be, like, gone. And I wouldn't care because this, this part where she could neutralize... Uh, Effects that prevents unit counterattack is the thing. That is something that no armor has achieved before, and I needed this. I was looking for, I was wait, seriously waiting for a character who who could either provide it as a support, you know, like like some kind of um, buff character or support character that just like spreads um, that effect to my team, or a character that simply has it. And Fjorm is one of the characters that just so happens to have that. So now I don't have to worry about that for a bit. And now I can think about how to build her. Honestly, the way she is now is fine. You don't really even need to do anything. You can just keep her the way she is and everything will be just fine. I might tweak her build a bit depending on what ended up happening. But Ascendant Fjorm is something I absolutely needed. For, um... Let's just say making my life so much easier. I am a guy who summons for uh, for things that makes things easy for me. I don't want I don't want to spend effort when I do when I do Aether raids. Fuck that shit. I I rather just you know go through with it easily. And so to do it easily, I must do it like this. That is how it is gonna be done. Now I'm going to focus entirely on green, because I have no care for Joseph Harden's pals and a mercenary. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I have no interest in those guys uh, whatsoever. Honestly, I'm surprised that this banner isn't called Ascendif Yormans. And more! Now it's new heroes and ascended fjorm. So it sounds a little more respectful than it was before. God, a peonian more sounds so stupid. It's just like, it sounds like a banner that just, just shrugs everyone else aside. Still, it still kind of is. But at least now, um, it, it's called new heroes. It makes them sound better. Alright, seems like my luck went where it should work out. I have managed to summon Fjorm, clad in the armor of the champion of Niffle, God of Ice. Please join your side. Alright. Needed that. Heather Watson. <laughs> this weapon and armor were granted to me by the great Niffle, god of ice. Ah! Please, do not startle me like that. Ah! I'm glad to see you are the same as ever. I wonder how Princess Legyarn felt at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face! <laughs> she can never avoid faces like that. Ah! Ah! I like think she, she definitely enjoys getting hit. Oh, she actually has... Uh, oh, no, never mind. I thought that it looked like she was swinging her axe for a bit, but she's the same fucking face. Uh, I like the one that she had. Uh, uh, <laughs> that was perfect. This weapon and armor. Same art, same artist, same voice. Beautiful. Nothing more needs to be said. Honestly, you only need one or two copies of her. Just two copies to get the uh, thing to uh, get her, um, her, uh, her uh, what's it called again? A Bane removed. No, no, not, not Bane. It is something else again. I don't remember what it was called again. I'll just call it Bane. I, you know, Boons and Banes. It doesn't matter. 
Anyway, point is, is that, yeah, I've been thinking about building her for quite some time now. In fact, I even made a Burger King that um, I was using for um, deflecting range attacks, just just to just to fuck around and be, to prepare for her showing up. Because, like I said, I needed a character who can handle range attacks, and that is very very important. Like uh, range save is the most important thing I could ask for. Although this does present a problem for me when it comes to Loki's um, Loki's pawn, but who gives a shit about that? That mode is silly anyway. What really matters right now is how I will now be able to stop the six paths of pain plus. Like, I had one weakness when it comes to far safe armors. I cannot deal with my own techniques. My own techniques are too strong for me. I can kick my own ass very handily. So, now, I no longer have to worry about that. Because if I do, if someone even so much as to try to do that, Fjorm would break their faces. And that would be the end of that. But anyway, so back to the topic of why you only need two. I've been thinking about building her, and, um... Honestly, her base setup is so good, there really isn't any reason to change her setup. I mean, there is, uh, if you have uh, more stats. Uh, I think that she has a uh, pretty good one-shot potential. But, I also think to myself, hmm, well, a tank should be as tanky as possible, right? Because with the Ice Mirror setup, she's very, very tanky. But the problem is, she can't quite make kills unless she takes more damage so she needs to negate as much damage as possible in order to make the, make the kill so if you have too much stats it's not as easily done so I thought to myself maybe well two copies of her would be enough so why do I now have a thousand something, something orbs I don't know I, I must be a crazy guy maybe I, I want two of them I don't know. I might just plus 10 her, though. I don't know. Depending on how this summoning session goes. I mean, I did just get one just now. So we're off to a uh, pretty decent start. If I am a free-to-play player, I, I would be pretty ple pleased with what I just got. Get my 40 summons if I had saved up those orbs and leave. And that leads me to another thing that I was going to talk about the... In the analysis, if I had, like, uh, done that the other day. But unfortunately, I just simply didn't have time because I was playing other games that I have more interest in. And uh, I had some work to do. So until those things were taken care of, I would prefer to uh, just kind of keep things with... The fire movement kind of on a down low. I don't want to say that I won't do it anymore because I did just spend some money on this. Honestly, I don't even know why I did that. <laughs> but Fjorm seriously is something that I've been looking for for a while, so I guess it can't be helped. But honestly, two copies would have been enough. Why did I do that? I'm insane. Like I'm looking at my orbs go down now, and it's kind of it's kind of painful. I, I decided to go with 1,200 because I still have uh, Google Points. I saw, and um, the only reason why I actually even spent initially was because of the fact that there was a Google Point bonus in the uh, in, in the uh, Google Shop for Fire Emblem Heroes for um, 3 per 1. So I did that, and um, I got a lot more points. So I thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to go and get 1,200 Orbs enough to uh, match Raditz's power level because uh, fucking Fjorm has long hair now, like Raditz, and that's really cool. And hopefully, that'll give me the luck I need to uh, to get 11 copies of her. Or in this case, I only need nine more. Maybe I can pull it off. Uh, I don't know. I don't say I thought the whole plus 10 system was kind of silly, but then again, I did that shit in um, other games, like uh, Genshin, for example. You have to summon seven copies in order to max out, right? Except the rate is so much lower. 
Like, you have to be insane to do something like that there. So, in comparison, I guess you could say that this game is a lot more friendlier in that regard. But, of course, the characters, uh, well, are uh, definitely a lot less. It's like, they have so many different lines in Genshin, whereas, like, you have a couple here and there and here and there, four pieces of art, and then you, that's your character in this game. But... See, I'm a fan of strategy games, even though summoning for shit like this is not exactly conductive to strategy making, so to say. It's more like making my life easy and uh, making other people's life hard in um, Aether Raid's defense. I, I also kind of like that kind of stuff, too, so I, I guess, I don't know. Let's just put it this way. I'll do strategy when I feel like it, but I do still like this game. I mean, it. oh, hey, look, it's Balthus. Look at that. He's not actually going to grapple anyone, though, because he's got to force him to use an axe here. But, hey, he tried. I still like this game. I mean, if it's not so, I would not have spent a decent chunk of money on these orbs. But, um, back to what I was saying with, um, <laughs> with the whole analysis thing. Analysis thing. I think that this is like an intelligence system ploy. Like IS is planning for the long game now. So they're they're just doing this ascendant floor thing. And you can only get one per ascended hero. So basically they're just gonna try to uh, stretch this as much as possible. Get it make us summon new heroes as much as possible. Rather than uh, catering to guys who summon us for plus ten, because they're awful people. They wanna get people to just do this. Summon for 40 guys, uh, get a guaranteed hero, and go home and be a family man. Because that is actually very reasonable. Most people do most people do that. Most most people don't fucking plus 10 characters. Plus 10 characters is stupid. I also got pity broken by this horrible thing. At least give me something decent. God fucking damn it. You know, at least, you know, Mirror, Mirror Stance 3 would have been nice. Nah, fuck you. I'm a piece of shit. Nah, I'm just gonna give you a whole bunch of nothing. Anima child, uh, fuck you too. Like, seriously, you, you you fucked me. You, you you fucked me. I that that's that was that was supposed to be a fjorm. You you fucked me. Oh wait, aha! I got my fjorm replaced. How wonderful! Ah, now that is supreme luck. Yeah, I, I was getting a little upset because of fucking you know, Ruga. Like, what the fuck, man? He was fucking me up. You can't have that. But now... Uh, time for another Fjorm Ascendant. Alright, so that makes three now, is it? Very good. I just need to get, oh, I don't know, eight more. Beep, 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 beep. Can I pull it off with a thousand orbs? Let's see, let's see. Anyway, yeah, so the next one's probably Ascended League or, or, or something along the lines of that in like a couple of weeks. And uh, I should probably have some orbs to summon for that. And that might be what I'm going to do for the next few. Like, I'm gonna try to, uh, just, just get one of each of these fucking Ascended Heroes. Then they show up, and do, uh, make my other characters Ascended. And I don't really have that many characters that I care that much about to invest on such a useful, um, resource on. But this whole Ascendancy thing, you really have to think uh, who to get that, because that doesn't seem like something that you can just easily obtain. On the other hand, like I said earlier about how um, IS's strategy currently is to uh, try to extend the game for as much as they can. So each of these guys, these Ascended Heroes, giving us a Ascended Fluid for each one, will definitely do that. I also believe that it's probably a, some kind of currency down the line that we could use to uh, spend $30 or on one of these fucking ass things. I don't know if it's going to be anywhere close to be like some kind of um, event reward anytime soon, but it definitely sounds like something that they would do, like uh, charge us for uh, these Ascended Floods. If nothing else, it'll be from these fucking characters. Is that a good thing? Hard to say. I mean, a character with like... Um, with an extra 
asset really isn't that that much better. It does indeed make make them good, but I wouldn't say that it, it makes them like gods or anything. It, it certainly helps make some certain decisions uh, easier to make. You know how like you, you get these characters and you're like wondering, oh man, should I get attack? Oh, should I get speed? I don't know. Uh, oh, I don't know. And you end up getting a headache and Eventually, after a few days, you finally decide that, oh yeah, you know what, I'm going to go with attack. Or, or something like that. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes it takes me a little while to uh, decide on IVs. I don't build my units right away sometimes. But this time, in this case, I probably will build... Honestly, she's supposed to be a tank. I really should go with dev res rather than like something stupid like attack and... And speed, but I might just end up doing that anyway because uh, the defense stats have less value. That is why, in, in like blessings and such, we get like five rather than like three and four because they, they have less value, they, they're basically split into two. So, chances are, I will probably go with attack and I will probably go with speed for this one. Because Fjorm is, um, Fjorm is very speed dependent. I think that she's going to need that in order to, um, to keep up her ability to, um, keep the enemy from doubling her. Because she has that ability built in, which is very handy. She doesn't have an ability to actually counter attack twice, though. She doesn't have full Noval follow up. If she does, that would be really nice, but she does have no half of it, and also no counter built into a weapon. So that's really, really good. I am probably going to change Hardy Fighter, though, and change her set a little, depending on uh, if there's new fighter sets coming out. Hardy Fighter is kind of interesting, but I, I think it's mainly just for Ice Mirror builds. And Ice Mirror builds, while good, as I said earlier, you either reduce too much damage... Because you, you have a lot of resistance, and you don't do enough damage in return, or uh, your resistance is low enough and you do it, and then you... I don't know, it just... I don't know, I still have to think about it. I feel like... I might not... I might run into an awkward situation where I can't kill someone, or... Um, I run out of time because I'm using someone who's too tanky and also too slow to get around. But then I also have to worry about like characters like um, Valentine's Liff fucking the shit out of me. Uh, I can't say for certain yet. And not until I uh, start testing her out. I don't know when I'm actually going to go about doing that because right now, what time is it? It's 3.30. 3.30 in the morning, mind you. I have to get up to work in a bit. The only reason why I'm like even here now is because uh, today's uh, Dynasty Warriors Empire stream uh, got done a little sooner than expected. Uh, let's just say that uh, things weren't going very well, so we got a little tired. We just, you know, man needs to go to work tomorrow. So do I. And it's better to just call it off for now. But spending a, a thousand orbs, I think I, I could do that before before going to bed. Yeah, no problem. Better that than doing it during the day tomorrow, because during the day tomorrow I have no time. I still have like a couple of things I need to do in this game. I need to use up all my um, I need to use up all my um, uh, what's my called in Aether raids. I have to use those Aether raid stamina's, which is uh, I still have like. 200 to spend because I'm, I'm pretty lazy. I, I don't play the raids as much as I should, given the the uh, the kind of characters I have. I should be I should be streaming them uh, or, or some shit, but I don't want to stream myself. Well, that sounds stupid as fuck. And like, if I slip up, I might even show you personal information. I don't want to do that. Uh, that's just, I, don't, I don't do that. I could emulate it on the PC, but that's too much work. I don't want to do that either. Although I heard that um, Windows 11 does that now. They can um, 
Oh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is this? No, 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 please, no, 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 not Shannon. Not Shannon and his chest. At least he got steady posture. So that's something, I guess. But come on, man. It had to be Fjorm. And yet I'm not getting any green. The hell is happening? And now I got some strange creature. No, oh, it's just Floria. I like that shadow stuff, though. It's like, who's that Pokemon? Oh, it's Valoria. Valoria's good, though. I like her. I like some of her uh, funny setups. Eventually, there's going to be more characters, such as Ares, where you want to build up their initial, initial charge as high as possible to execute some stupid techniques over and over again. Unfortunately, though, that, that's only for player use, not for um, AI use. What a shame. Man. I mean, plus 10 is such a silly idea, huh? Maybe I should wait? Mm. Honestly, when it comes to plus 10, the averages should be at like 1,500, right? Maybe a thousand two hundred was a little too um, optimistic. I did have some decent luck before, but I, I guess not. I gotta make sure that I have enough for other ascendant heroes too. Hmm. Oh yeah, the best part about ascendant Fjorm is that not only does she, is she conductive for my strategies, but she also is not a legendary hero. Because fuck those guys. Legendary heroes are terrible. If only use them like every other week or every other other week. I hate that about them. That's the worst part about them. I mean, otherwise you're gonna get like no points. So for something like this. It has to be done. But then again, the more I think about it, I'm also not really getting much points in uh, Aether Rays, period. Because... <coughs> I remember mentioning in my uh, Gatekeeper video, but... Uh, but there are guys who score like 440 or 420, and I score like not even 400, like 390 or maybe even less. Which means that these guys have like major advantages over me, and they, they, uh, it's just, I can't keep up unless I summon for some, because my, um, <coughs> my, uh, score giving characters are like plus one, plus two at most, and that's not enough. Not to mention, I also need to make sure I have a uh, bonus hero each time. It's uh, kind of troublesome. And yet, I don't want to spend too much on um, mythic heroes either. Like, especially shitty ones. But at least mythic heroes you can count on for, um, for the seasons. It's not like every other week or every other other week or some shit like that with legendaries. It would also be kind of nice if I could get some Fjorms now instead of Sex Luthor. Come on. <coughs> and you know... What really blows? This fucking blows. It's the fact that green orbs don't show up. It's like when I want to summon for a character that I want. Oh, the color associated with them is not never going to show up. Silly. Oh, at least I got that. Yep, 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 yep. There's luck in this yet. Luck in this yet. Oh, yeah! So was that four? That, that was four, right? That, that was definitely four. Well, there's always way to check. One, uh, it is kind of interesting that I'm getting like these interesting heroes. Four, yep. 
877. Oh, man, this is going to get filled fast. At least with Shannon, I, I could use that stance. Hell, I might even give that stance to Fjorm. Isn't it like speed dev? Or something like that? Or is it still attack dev? I mean, she does come with attack dev as well, so maybe I'll just keep that one. The speed isn't so hard to stack, especially since it's like just one stat. Yeah, I mean, she comes with 41 already, so what I might just do is, um... Well, we'll see. Oh, no, it's that being. Homeless Julia. Look at her clothes. It's so dirty and tattered. In fact, they know about my silly joke. Uh man, I can't believe it's been five years with this game. Five fucking years. Five years. It felt like yesterday when I just started this. Oh, hey, it's Dorcas. I'm doing pretty good with getting five stars. Weird ones, but some five stars are good. <coughs> seven, seven, six, I saw that, but now it's seven, seven, five. So bad. Gordon Freeman. Oh, yeah, I also heard that the next um, Hall of Forms is is uh, Fallen Ike. That could be very handy. Fallen Ike is pretty amusing. But then again, he's also kind of... Eh. Before, I would use him in Aether Rage. But now, I, I believe Savior Skills is the right path. Hey, look, I also got a, a Malice... Which sucks. You fucked me up. I was hoping to not summon that. But then, well, whatever. No, not actually gonna use her. But, Spurn is good. Spurn is good. Can never say no to Spurn. It's ever since Spurn comes out, it's like all the other ones are kind of abandoned. Oh, hey, I have luck in my body yet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So that's five. Very good. Just need six more. Let's keep up the pace. Save me some orbs. You can do that. Then I can summon for Ascended Legior next. And then we'll see what else. I'll still do make Ascended. Having two assets certainly is nice. Princess of Grashina. Oh, uh, this brings back memories. Sheena was my primary tank for the longest time in the uh, early stages of the game. Oh, look, I got Dragon No, eventually I will plus 10 or just from doing this. I think you're being rude, Dragon No. Oh, man. Then Sheena. Because, um, initially when I started playing this game, the first year was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to kind of, like, not spend so much. Except then I ended up, I did, because I'm a whole being. I, I got suckered into the whole... Into the whole, um... Quad attack nonsense with Quadsuna. Instead, I built up a Quad Rebecca. Quebecca. That was silly as fuck. And after getting Quebec, I ended up running into a Hero Fest. 
with Hector. I summoned 17 Hectors that day. 17 goddamn Hectors. And yet Hector has a problem. I could see it like right in the beginning. Even though he's so good and all that stuff, he doesn't have that resistance. So, Sheena became my main tank. Because Sheena does have resistance. I just put her along with some other people with ward armor and that was it. Easy. But then things happened and I don't use Sheena anymore. And now, this Fjorm will take over her spot and become the rightful range dealing monster. She only deals with rage. That's okay, that's not a problem. I honestly could predict that Legion would be the other way around. But then again, who knows? Maybe Legion would be a lot more offensive. Maybe she'll still be a uh, <sighs> flying dragon type or some shit. But right now, I think building armor has the most, um, most return. As long as... Um, as long as Savior Skills doesn't get, like, horribly debuffed. You know, I got another weird 5-star. I got Larce. Larce will give no spurn and give me repel. Paddock Smoke. I mean, she herself is pretty decent as a character, so there's that. Now, Power Creep has gotten so bad since the initial stages of Aira that I don't even care about Aira anymore. It's like, okay, she, she's bad. Uh, well, during her first year's time. But now, <sighs> sadly, the game has gotten so Power Creep that it's, it doesn't really matter anymore. Now I got another weird 5-star. Weird 5-star that I can't even use. I mean, I, I can use, it's just... I already have him plus 10, like, why would I need him? He doesn't give me any useful fodder. Oh, I guess Heavy Blade in the ace slot could be kind of cute. I'm just focusing on green, and yet, uh, sadly, things are not going too well. And that's a 666 now. And how many did I need it? I needed like six, right? So, uh, this is bad. <sighs> I was kind of hoping for 100 per. That would be very nice. But, you know... Things rarely go ever go to plan. That's how it is. Five. Mm. Five. Well, I have a lot of banked up res uh, resin. Oh my god, I almost said that. I have uh, banked up orbs, and I also have um, a lot of free orbs I still haven't yet gotten from this game because I am really, really lazy. Like, I really cannot spare the effort. But maybe I should start doing it, like, piecemeal. Like, like just play a little bit of extra story like from here to there. Do the squad assault shit. Chain challenge. Oh, I don't want to do these. There's so much work. Just not doing these. It's like last summer. Or maybe a little bit ago too. I haven't done anything for book four. Oh man. Got my work cut out for me. <laughs> Got my work cut out for me, alright. Oh boy. I haven't touched book four, period. Oh, shit. Well, at least I got a lot of orbs. I just need to uh, work the effort in doing it. I haven't even done these um, uh, 
tactics drills in a while. I got so bored. Oh, I guess I'll, you know, maybe I'll just, like, take a, yeah, I'll just take a piece of me, like, every day, and, like, try to do a little bit more than usual. Flying! But the original one is always that catrium. Oh, what's that? I uh, for this. That's for Annie. At least, uh, oh, I can make you move one extra space. Ha, 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 uh, ooh, ooh, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. You, you can't just pity break me like that. And if it wasn't for Rook and Annette, that would have been better. Yep. That would have been better. <sighs> but expecting a hero fest out of this character ain't gonna happen for some time. And then not even happen, period. It seems like the hero fest has been kind of like, um, oh my, I got another weird guy. No, at least my five star ratio is good. Weird guys. Please, can it just be fjorms? Not weird guys. Just give me fjorms. Fuck. I am trying to plus that in here. Plus 10 to make my Astra season easy. Ugh. I still have more to do after that. Come on now. Mustafa. I always love how badass Mustafa looks. He's so cool. And he's actually not even an asshole. He, he works for an asshole, but he's not an asshole. I like the guy. And that is why he's in this game. Because he's like that. Orochi. What does Warriors Orochi do anyway, besides having big breasts? Oh, let's see. Yeah, bigger than 25% attack. It's like panic. Oh my god, dude, really? Then it's like... Imagine if that's Veronica. Base Veronica, huh? Base Veronica does that, and then now uh, we have this... Yeah, imagine if Base Veronica has big breasts and does do, 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 do this. Fucking Warriors Orochi. I don't think spreading panic isn't that great anymore. the halfway point already and I am kind of halfway just kind of behind because of these weird pity breaks mm. Ugh. man I'm starting to lose energy it's getting kind of late so please just give me what I want do so now I was actually gonna build this guy for a bit, but then I gave up on building Soren after all. Uh, Soren's um, refine was very decent when he during his time, but now after all these years, it's not that good anymore. The other three guys again. Let's see. 
Life and Death 4, Snag, Panic Smoke, and Harden's Loyal Wolf, Faithful. <laughs> and Speed Death 4, Distant Guard. <sighs> oh, hey, wait a, wait a minute. That's actually not so bad. Stout Lands. Huh. That's actually not so bad. That's like a uh, weaker version of uh, that's a weaker version of the that thing that Gustav has the uh, loyalist axe. It's not so bad. It's pretty good. <coughs> for transferable weapon. Uh, it's about all you could really ask for. Uh, let's see. Maybe I will try to get one or something. Then I would have another melee tank that I could build. Yeah, I could maybe put it on Benny or something. Ha <laughs> ha, imagine that. Or I'll just ignore that whole thing altogether. We'll see. After all, I would have to um, sacrifice a near safe for that. So whoever getting it has to be so good that he actually deserves such treatment. Speaking of which, let's go back to green now. And I'm already down to 500. Oh, I want to cry. It's like money is so easy to spend. But to save it? <sighs> nah, not that easy. You save for a few months? Gone in a day. And here I am spending money. Money is just easy to come, come by, I guess. But still... Ugh... It is kind of wasteful, but it did also build my credit score in in ways that it that's not natural because I just spend and then I immediately pay it off, and the uh, credit companies like that. Well, I actually wouldn't say they like that. I'm sure they would prefer that I screw up and owe them a lot of money so I pay an interest. Make money off of that. Assholes. But I've been very good at paying back my debts. Alright, finally, here we go. So that's what? Six? Just five more to go? No problem. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Let's do it. Mustafa, you're, you're on my side, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. And I don't want to go to work tomorrow. Which is kind of ironic, because I need to go to work to pay for stupid shit like this. But I am lazy. I don't want to work. I just want to lay down. I just want to lay down and sleep and play games all day. That's all I want out of my life now. I don't want to do anything else. But I know for a fact that's not possible. And that is why I got a Fjorm. So that Fjorm can help me be lazy in this game at the very least. <laughs> I'll have to study your technique. Alright, so now I have seven. I nearly need four more. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get four more. Come on. Let's do it. Teacher's ideal student. How oh, irksome. No way. Give me my green. Selena Miku. Hope she gets resplendent soon. Oh, man. I do need that. You get done. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh man, I should have at least tried for the blue so I get that stout lance. That stout lance actually is not so bad. And I know he has a four star. Tail, teal. Oh, did she get a new pose as well? Oh, she gets a new pose with the skin. That's cute. She gets the little finger pose. Yeah, look at me. I've got a finger out. Yeah, I do that here. And that's a chibi too. Ha ha ha. Finger pose. And newer characters have like such different poses. <laughs> All the colors in the world and one colorless. I was expecting something a little better. Oh, Virian is bad. I still like his techniques, but oh, oh, oh. oh look, it's Finger Mage again. What is up with that outfit too? It's like she's like barely wearing anything. She's great. Oh, that was better than before when she has soulless eyes. Her eyes literally have no soul in them. And she was quickly approaching you. What a scary, scary, very scary picture. Oh no, it's Elder Toguro. Hey, please. Give me more fumes. I should have focused on some of that blue earlier. Maybe I could have gotten a couple stout lances. Oh, well. I'm sure I'll have plenty of opportunity to do so now. Hey! Uh, I thought I got him for a second, but it's actually just Eastern Standard Time. Looks really like him for a second. Wait, that is a him, right? I mean, the guy is like pink hair, so it's kind of hard to say. Well, let's let's take a look. Oh yeah, fucker! Here we go. Anyway, let's see. Oh, never mind. Roshia. That, that's that's a female name. So there, there, you, there you have it. Uh, what was that? Eight? I mean, now? <laughs> uh, actually, I can do this. Origin would make it easier to, to, to find out. Yep. Eight. <coughs> At least few orbs just lining up like that. That's horrifying. And soon I will have leg yorns lining up. Terrible, terrible. Man, why does Loki even get like a all? Oh, that's crazy. Oh well, back back to uh, somebody. So eight. I just need three more then. All right. Let's make it happen. Stout. It's Touchy Lucas. Touch, touch, Lucas. Likes to touch things. I still remember those old series of memes. I still have those stupid pictures too. Ah, oh, man. Jesus Christ. Really didn't think that I, you know, this game would still be going strong like that. Might be a good thing though, because considering. All things considered, I spent way too much money on this fucking game. It would be kind of nice if it uh, validates my investments a little. So at the very least, I, I am quite glad that there is this ascendancy to uh, make my guy strong. And dragon flowers, at the very least. Ah, I kind of wish, though, that some of my other characters could get the um, resplendent treatment. 
Luckily, though, Hector did. And Hector is so good. Oh, my Lord. He is so fucking powerful. Base Hector is just absolutely insane. Certainly not a bad idea to invest on him. Oh no! Actually, wait. It, is Roshi even the uh, four star for this one? Four star special rate. Let's see. Hey, look! Hey, even he comes with a little diamond thing for the ascendant thing. That's so adorable. No, no, wait. Four star special raiders for these old things. That's right. Four star focus is Roshi. Okay. Huh. Did he was some of the single one? Interesting. Well, I'm still gonna focus on my green. I will only summon for blue when I do not get green. Yeah. 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 Ah. I should get back into doing day trading or something. Maybe then I can, like, avoid work and do nothing. And I just day trade. <sighs> nah, I say stupid shit like this, but I am probably just going to keep working. Working is a lot more... A lot more reasonable. Investing and all this stuff like that has its risks. And besides which, if I've the last couple of times when I decided to take a few days off, I realized something. Huh. I've got nothing to do at home sometimes. That that can be kind of boring. Though I say this, I actually would only feel that if I have taken a break for a little while. Right now, I... I Ugh, I just want to sleep. Just want to sleep. Don't want to do anything, just want to sleep. Hey, I got double Ku Klux Merrick. Never actually going to use them. Do I could see... Oh my lord, not another one of that horrible monster. No, bless Julia. That is the homeless Julia is actually a very good character. It's just that there are many more horrible things now these days, and infantry flowers are not exactly uh, easy to come by. It's highly contested at the moment. As is my armor flowers, too. My armor flowers are highly, highly contested at the moment. Hmm. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let go. Alright, how about that? Eat. No, oh, I got you. I got you. Whoosh. Yeah. <laughs> Avoided actual battles. Violent might be sweet as well. If my words reach him. Oh, so is guy. God damn it. Huh? In Aurelis, my comrades and I are known as the Coyotes men. What hey. You know, I was looking at this fucking pink armor, and the guy's like, Roshia. It's like... Uh, the breastplate and everything, too. I thought I was looking at a female character, but I guess I... I guess I'm still a guy, after all. God damn. I mean... Look, dude, I, I actually don't know. It's just because I... Oh, hey, look, I got a dude. I just has to be bringing freedom to the world. That is my mission. I feel that long, long ago, I met a person much like you. Someone warm. 
Man, look at those legs, though. Dude, like, this, what is up with this damage art? It's like she's lost almost all of her clothes. Well, I suppose that's what happens when you're wearing homeless robes most of the time. Oh, that was interesting. Though not exactly welcome, I'll tell you that. I didn't need that. I needed... I needed fewer. I needed fewer, not that. Oh, well. These things happen. Idun is really not bad as a tank as herself. Because Idun as a debuff canceling feature. But sadly, I don't really give a shit about that. Valbois. I wonder what's so special about that dude anyway. Why is he featured in the original art? He was like featured in the original art of the, um, of Gaiden, along with Alm. And, uh, who's the other guy? It wasn't Celica, was it? It could be. I, I just misremembered. Oh well. Where the fuck is my green color? That's what I want to know. Ugh. I'm not getting green, so I'm getting pity break broken by Idun as a result. <laughs> I really need my Roshia. Roshia. Rosh. Roshia. Maybe that's the name. I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm so tired, I'm actually running out of things to talk about with regards to Ascended Viewer, but though I actually built her because I can't. I need to figure out what that stupid hardy fighter thing does. Does it like give me two attacks? Probably not, right? I mean, I, it just looks, it just sounds like something that'll just increase the amount of uh, damage reduced, and that's about it. And then I go home and be a family man. Oh man, I'm already down to like 249. Jesus Christ, man. These things just go down so quick. Still, I got a few interesting guys. Interesting guys I don't know what to do with, but interesting guys nonetheless. But from here on, I'll probably invest on them. Just getting a single copy of Ascended Heroes and leave it at that. And go back to focusing on um, Mythic Heroes, I guess, maybe. I don't know. It depends on how much I actually care. This time around, I actually care about Fjord, so there's that. But afterwards, it's hard to say. I don't see, it's been quite a while since I spend so much like that. Ugh. Alright, should I go for my Google points or go through my stash? I do have quite a bit of orbs saved up in my stash. But so do, so do I have a lot of Google points. I don't know. Right now, though, please, 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 no more Monty Python, no more Mustafa, give me a Sunday Fjord. No, no more Nino, either. I mean, Nino's so good, though, still holds the test of time. Even if you don't count on count her ascendant, she's yeah, ascendant, resplendent thing. Though maybe now, maybe not that good because of um, lol. But eh. Ooh. 
I shall... Something else Ferdinand. Archduke Ferdinand. Man, I can't believe it's 40 degrees outside, too. Like, how did it get so cold? The idea that I have to go out to work in this weather. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, fuck, it's 4.20. Gotta smoke. Smoke a little, you got him. Oh, no, please, no. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Well, at least he gets his gale force. He can't wait. Which I never use. Because I don't intend to actually use yarn. But it's cute, I guess. But still, no, 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 no. Please don't pity break me with that. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. Have mercy. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Well, at least it didn't lose the entire raid, but still. No, no, no. Please, no, no, no. No, 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 no. The yarn. Seriously, what the fuck? That's just not right. <sighs> Oof. Ooh, that's three. Yes! For fuck's sake, yes! I need two more. The two more. And then... Mato Sengong. Mission's done. I go to bed. And then I wake up, build my fjord, and uh, use her exclusively on the next season. Although, man, one thing about this fucking Fjorm is that she's gonna fuck up my 5 Duma defense, too. Man, that's gonna be terrible. If the, um, if the guy I'm uh, fighting uses her anyway. Hundred and eighteen left after this one. Well, I suppose it's like everything else in this world. Money included. It's so much easier to spend than it is to save. Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Very good. So well, that's I should see one more, right? Huh. That's good. That's very good. That's very good. Very, very good. E. E. Very good. Check. Look at all those Fjorm heads. Yeah, that's ten Fjorm heads I've got. I just need one more Fjorm head. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are my IVs so far? Uh... Uh, uh, crap, 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 Oh, are you kidding me? Really? Not a single attack? I mean, resistance is not too bad, but, oh, man. Not a single attack? Oh, that's, yeah, that's interesting. I might just build her resistance, though, but still, uh, I guess... I mean, I could also use the trade fruit. So 
so it doesn't really fucking matter in the end. I'll think about it. I'll think about it when I ended up actually building her. I'll think about it. I think about it. I think about it. Oh, I'm done. Oh, yes, I'm done. I am done. I have completed my mission. Thank God. I actually pulled this off in a thousand... 100 orbs. That's that's actually pretty decent luck, I would have to say. Usually, like I said, usually people say that the um, averages is 1,500. So I did pretty good this time around. You know, I got all kinds of weird 5 stars. and That happened. I didn't have to spend any of this. That worked out for me. That worked out very well for me. I, I can't believe I still had so many left the last time I spent them. Alright, and with that, our summoning session has completed. I thank you all for joining with me in this beautiful nonsense. I suppose I'll also touch this free summon because, I mean, look at this. This looks like some kind of, like, epic war. It's the battle, the death between the evil forces of Burkut and God be the and each have their women that will fight with them. For me, I've got the Mercedes Benz. And I have Burning, the Human Torch herself. From the Fantastic Four. Alright, which side do I support? Crazy Burkut or God Beelin? I support God Beelin. Oh, but that fucking Henry shows up. Aha! Well, that's the end of that banner. Yep, yep, yep. That was funny for what it was worth. <laughs> Alright, well, then, then I want to thank you all for joining with me in this beautiful, if not deplorable, summoning session. I managed to save many orbs. So now I can uh, save it for another project. And the next Ascendant Hero. Hopefully, Ascended Legio will be too good, and then I don't have to spend any more money. I, I really would rather not. Uh, plus, tending heroes is, uh, regardless of what, it's a pain in the ass process. It takes too much work. I'd rather not do that. And I would prefer to uh, just do the intended way that IS is now laid in before us, and just you know, do the forty. The 40 summons, spend 160 orbs, and just get the ascendant thing, get out of here. Then that's probably what I will do. Unless, you know, there's other meta breaking characters such as Ascendant Fjord. Anyway, I will play with mixing her up, maxing her out, and see where we go from there. We will continue this tomorrow when I finish work, and if I'm not too tired to make videos. Maybe I will talk about her again, but probably not until I make my unit showcase or something. Anyway, I'm tired. I go to bed. I thank you all for watching. Until next time.